Greetings and welcome back to some more Lara Croft Tomb Raider Anniversary. So we are going on to the Tomb of Qualopec. Yeah, I love that wee musical sting. Yeah, so I mean, I, I will preface all of this by saying that I do have a tendency to get a bit confused with this level. Oh. I I usually end up screwing your oh dear, okay. Um, you're meant to push some pillars along, and I I do tend to run around for ages, like getting really confused. I will say though, I will say something about this level. I really like the aesthetics of this level, because in the original game, I don't know who Qualopet got for his interior decorators, but my God, orange and pink orange and pink but actually if you have a look around here you can see that it's um if we just pan around it does look like it was all red at one point and all that the, the the paint or you know like whatever is faded from the bricks is it's it's a really nice touch i really love the i said in a previous video one of the things i really love about the the original game was a sense of this used to be really grand and then um, and then it's all fallen into disrepair and I think this is something that this level really does not very very well so yeah you have to pull the thingamajiggers about and um, you can see yeah white mark because there's two of them isn't there can I pan the camera oh, oh I think we can just about see the base of one on the the right side so I think there's one side where you have to move I think that's two white spaces right okay so we go into that one first I think I think I always get confused but I did just play this game last year so um I think we trigger the boulder don't we oh okay that's making me nervous yes okay cool Oh, bugger. There's got to be safe... <laughs> I love that sound. That's really cool. Oh, there's got to be a safe way to drop down here. Oh, and we better shift this one over, shouldn't we? I feel like every time I play this level, I spend so much time, because I get so confused with the pillars, I spend so much time just climbing up that. So I've probably spent 50% of this level just climbing up that so many times. But, you know, I did just play this game last year. So, oh, are we as far forward as we can go? Right, okay, 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 okay. I did just play this game last year. So, this should... I, I think I've got this right. I mean, the game's still relatively fresh in my memory. I think. Fingers crossed. I don't know what that's meant to be because I don't think that's a symbol in in the original game at all. I'm fairly certain. But we do have the, um, yes, you can see them on the doors there. There are symbols. I never noticed this until I played the original game in, in the PC version. So, you know, like the cleaner, um, well, the higher, uh, I always talk very untechnically, the cleaner graphics. What I mean is the higher resolution. Um, and you can see there, are they above that? Yeah, there they are, there as well. There's different symbols for the different, there's three main passages that you go through. So that's kind of cool that they kept something like that. Up you get. Oh, okay, it stopped. I was just about to say I'm really liking the music. It's very atmospheric, but of course it stopped just right as I was drawing your attention to it. What's this? Oh, shotgun shot. Yeah, we're full. We're full with the shop. Ah, okay, I could have done that. Oh, dear. Okay. There we go. Lots of spice. They knock out so much of your health, though. Oh, that's not, um... Oh, there we go. It's not a, um, a simple repeating, but well, obviously it is, but it shoots out a few different variants before the pattern then loops round. There 
There we go. Oh no, wait a minute, that's... No, that's not a ledge. Ah. <laughs> I love the way she shuggles her bum a bit like that before she's about to to do a jump. It's like it's like it's like with cats. Cats shuggle their bum when they're getting ready to pounce on something. Oh, small medipack. You should always be a bit worried when Tomb Raider just has a random medipack on the ground like that. Oh dear. God, there's another one. Oh, good. Oh, damn it. I was just about to say. Um, I was gasping in surprise because I was just about to say, I can't believe that actually worked. And then I got hit with spikes just right at the end there. Right, okay, so. Um, let's swing over. Boom. Um, oh, I think the ca oh that was interesting. The camera actually just swung around like that, and I just adjusted it too quickly. But yeah, drawing attention to this part of it. Is this so? Is this um? This will be. There's a wee room where you pull in the original game. That is, you pull out a block and then you run round to a switch, but the ground falls out from under you, and there's spikes there. So you just have to. I mean, quite simplistic, but it is the Peru section. A lot of stuff by the standards of stuff that came along later in the core design era is quite simplistic because you're having, like I said this in the first level of this let's play, you're having to learn how to play the game. It probably would have just been a little bit more authentic or you know just for um, nostalgia's sake to put some spikes down there just to emphasise to the, the long term fans that that's the room they're redoing. But just adding more because like I said you know it's not enough just to have something as simple as it was in the original game because games have moved on quite a bit. All right let's jump over here. There we go. I wonder those symbols that they had for the uh, Tomb of Qualipec in the original game I wonder if there was some kind of um, Meaning, you know, like if they found them in a, a, um, a textbook somewhere, they were oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, come off it. How are you meant to... I mean, are you basically just meant to... Can you do anything other than just go for it? Because... Oh! Oh goody! Oh goody, it's a Voloser... Oh hiya! Oh! Oh that's very rude of you! Oh come on! I mean he basically just... <sighs> nibbled me the 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 second I came round that corner there which isn't very it's not very gentlemanly. <gasps> Bugger Die, 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 die. Okay. I noticed that we've like we had a checkpoint when we died the last time we had a checkpoint in front of like sort of at, at, at the other side of this place we're now looking at but then when I died again the checkpoint was here I mean that's another example of how games have changed it's, uh, incredibly liberal with their um, oh gosh uh, with their um, checkpoints I mean, not that a saveaholic like me is complaining exactly, but it's, um... I mean, let's face it, if it was manual saves, I probably would have saved again. But it's just, uh, it, you know, it just highlights another... Ah! Oh! just highlights another difference. I feel like 
like yeah i feel like um try fight a velociraptor in this cramped area isn't necessarily uh it just, just makes it quite challenging actually because of the different style of uh, well the different approach to combat and uh, well, i suppose different style would be accurate between this and um the original Oh, that's the shotgun shells. Right, so, and there's another checkpoint again. Um, oh, yes, we. Yes, because we need to get that other platform loose, don't we? Right, okay. Oh, God's sakes, Lara. Right, okay. Get back. I do like that little uh, pose she goes into when she's jumping really far. It's just a nice little touch to have different visuals for different, um, or, well, sort of variations on on jumps and such but unlike angel of darkness you're not actually doing anything different like you know it's not different um oh you are still pushing the analog stick forward and pressing x so it doesn't become quite as confusing as it oh there we go yeah we've got our other platform right how do i <gasps> so that is one of the um the the negatives of anniversary is the jumping and to think i was just praising it there well i was praising its aesthetics but it is something that's quite frustrating as you think that you're aimed in the right direction oh Piss off, get up there. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, you think you're aimed in the right direction to jump in a certain way and Lara just seems to go off in a completely different... Oh, was my... Was my thingy majigger red the last time? I don't think it was. Well, anyway. Right, Lara. You utter cow! Right, okay, right, fine, I'll take that. Right, okay, so we need to get both of these. Oh, I, I did not tell you to let go. Right, okay, so there's two patches of uh, lightness on the ground. Is there one? No oh, wait, there's that one there. Alright, and then we need to pull this one round. Oh, there's pick up a mist. Don't know where that would have been. Fifty caliber pistol ammo or oh, that'll be the the Magnum clips. Oh well this game's version of the Magnums. Yeah, I think I've got hung up in the past where I've just pulled one of oh, I've just pulled one of these over to this patch here and then oh for God's sakes, am I Oh right, okay. I then got really confused as to why I can't jump over and it's driven me up the wall. I just have a lot of memories of being really stuck here. Oh wait a minute, that's There we go. Right, Lara. Well, hopefully this will work and it turns out we've only had to jump up this little spot a couple of times. Right. 
Oh, God, Lara. It's, just, it's almost like she can hear me and she's deliberately screwing up. Well, this will be fun in, in when we get to St. Francis Folly because there's... Like, the, the Sword of Damocles room never fails to drive me completely up the wall. I just... Oh, God. The controls just go all over the place in that one. Oh, bugger up. Right, do I need to pull this over a wee bit? Maybe. Just a wee smidgen. Oh, I jinxed myself. Because I'm having to climb up this load now. I'm getting jinxed myself. Because I'm a bloody idiot. Right, get up. Right. Um, I actually, sorry, I was reacting there to, a, I saw, like, it was a wee, like, moth or something just flying across the screen. I feel like that's too close. Like, maybe if we do that. Um, I don't know why it just got that reaction out of me there. Don't you dare, Lara. Just don't you dare. Right, come on. Oh, God! Alright, I know why that happened there. Because she has these little animations. Like, if she just barely jumps on something, she's like... Uh, it's like when Sonic hit the Hedgehog's on the edge of something and then he's, like, losing his balance. Um, but she did that when I was pushing the analog stick forward. So then when I pressed the X... She just jumped forward instead of running forward. There we go! Finally! Huzzah! Right, I genuinely can't remember what the other room is, because is it just... I know, but it must still be th Oh, okay, great. It must still be three, because there's the three doors opening, but we've only got the two passages. It's too quiet. Oh, <laughs> um, is this? Oh, no, shotgun shells. Is this the one where the ah, yes, <laughs> hi, oh, let go. Oh, oh, get up, God, Lara, get up. Is it just the two? Wow, I mean, holy shit, like, basically half the room collapsed. But this room's looking pretty shoddy as well, so I guess it was on top of some dodgy um, structuring. Right, well, that's actually really effective. I mean, all, I, yeah, I should have remembered that they, they did that. Oh, Lara, I wanted you to jump over the box, for God's sakes. But yeah, that is really effective. You know, that's another example of uh, doing something from the original game, but doing it bigger. So where are we going? I can't... Okay, cause can I not just go up and jump over there? Or do I... Ha oh, wait a minute. I could just do that, couldn't I? I was thinking I was going to have to push it all the way down the, the ramp, but... Of course not. Oh bugger me, that's too high. Oh, do I go up that side? I'm 
Jones. Oh, for... I swear to God, I just... I was just um, pulling back on the analogue stick and she... Yeah, she manages to go, like... Pushing stuff in these games, I always felt, even at the time when Legend came out, it felt really weird and all over the place. Like, you, you kind of... You couldn't quite control Lara's... Um, uh, directions when pushing or pulling. I like all these mossy bricks. Um... Right, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, up there? Genuinely can't remember how we're going to get that third one open. Oh, is there something up there? Uh, no. Looks like I was just meant to come this way. So what's... Because at first I was thinking I would jump onto that pole. Hmm. Hmm. I feel I'm missing something, but let's head back anyway. Oh, it's yourself again. Hiya. Well, oh no. Wait a minute. I don't think this Velociraptor actor has returned from the dead. Oh god, I just I can't. Oh, die already, for God's sakes. Thank you, thank you. That's how I like my Velociraptors. I should probably get the, um... Oh, wonderful. No med packs of any description. I should probably get the shotgun out. I mean, if it's... What the shit was that? Did I just imagine that? It was like somebody was, th somebody was breathing right in my ear. Oh, wait a minute. Could I not have... Bugger. Oh, <laughs> that'll be you then! Oh! My god, did I get a pickup? Um, what was that? It wasn't an artifact. That was a... Level statistics. Oh yes, it was not. No, it was a relic. I'm thinking. Oh, there's not any in this level anyway. But yeah, it's the relics I'm thinking of. Um, that are the. Uh, the super rare ones. Right. Well, see that happened because obviously. I, I well, I felt like obviously I was meant to swing on the the pole instead to get back across quicker because I fell right so I'm clearly missing something oh god If there's still one locked, what am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, 
Oh, oh, is that the symbol that's... Yes, right, okay. Okay, so I, do I have to... I have to swing across there, don't I? Oh, buggering art. Oh, so I have to drag that over again. Right, get on that. Right, now get down. Oh, God, this, this is my memory of just dragging these back and forth and back and forth. Oh, I do like how actually, though, you can see that, that the, the, the pillar thingy is a, basically a, a log. That's a nice touch. Oh, I wish I'd remembered this when I was just back up. Obviously, there's an efficient way of playing this level. Lara, get up on the box. Right. Oh, screw you, Lara. Thank you. Right, let's get back up there again. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how she does the stand handstand in this game, but I just seem to pull it off at, at, at um, uh, regular intervals. Oh, of course, because there was this swingy thing, so I should have... Yeah, I think there's a... There we go. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, for God's sake. Right, let's just go get the ski on. They do say ski on in this game, don't they? Because I'm fairly certain the actual word is pronounced scion. But um, I don't get the impression that Core Design were really down with um, research and stuff. See, and I, I, I love in the original game that just that simple but lovely uh, camera movement when Lara picks up the, the ski on. But um, yeah, we get cutscenes. And again, this, I mean, how creepy was it the first time you noticed that one of the mummies next to Qualapec was watching you the God King and, and it's all just done in cutscenes but anyway uh, three pieces of the skill diviners of its knowledge sacred rulers of Atlantis Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I'm probably going to sound like a broken record, just constantly whinging about how everything's done in cutscenes now. But again, it's it's kind of the approach when this game was was made. I think if they were to make the game now, they would put a lot of things back into. Um... Okay, I forgot he was a. <laughs> she, she looks um, at best mildly annoyed that Qualapec just came to life. Um. Right, so we need to we need to run. Bugger. I, I had a feeling that that was gonna break and so I had to actually swing across, but clearly not. Right, let's go fight, uh... Oh. Oh, there's, uh, there's... Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh.
Right, there we go. Let's go fight Larson. In a quick time event. <sighs> I hate quick... I absolutely hate quick time events. I'm glad they're gone. I'm glad you generally don't find them in games now. I'd love to join you, but I forgot my trucks. Why am I not surprised? You got your job, I got mine. I'll take it from here. I hope Natla sent you here with more than that shotgun. Don't sweat it, kitten. I prefer a more hands-on approach. Ugh, Larson. Oh, God, just so gross. Because what he's basically saying is, I want to touch you, I want to, like, grab your titties or have sex with you or something. It's really gross, but there are men who do th say things like that, and it's just, blah. I don't think, usually, usually older men, I think they just don't quite, oh, but, but, yeah, oh, but even this, like, having Lara sit on his chest like that. Yeah, oh God! See, see the way, see the way his eyes glance towards her crotch there. Oh, that's no difference to me. Pierre's probably already found his piece. Pierre Dupont, where? Now that I don't know. All right, I'm convinced. <laughs> Damn. You really had me going there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how she gets the shotgun in this one. Well, actually, I, I, I do quite like that. Yeah, so she doesn't have a blowtorch with her this time. But I still, I'm surprised that she's still holding on to the cable in this version because you'd think she'd have some kind of harness on. Um, because it seems to me that if you were to, to, to do that, wouldn't the wire just fly right out of your hand? How could you hold on to it? Well, there goes that with Skylight. <laughs> and, of course, reading books is so 20th century, so it has to be, like, sort of tech now. Looks like our girl's pulled it off. Of course she has. Now it's up to you. Not that I'm complaining, boss, but what makes you so sure she's not going to bring it back herself? Lara would never part with the ski on. She's far too obsessed with it, just like her father. You think Lara would have heard Larson being What's that close? Dupont? You have something to report? Good news, madame. Your information was correct. I have located my piece of the ski run. Voila! It is buried under a place called. St. Francis Folly. St. Francis Folly. See, but in the, the cutscene for the original game, Lara said St. Francis's Folly. Even though I've since realised that actually in the game the save file is called St. Francis Folly. It, oh, it just always, that extra S just always really confused and annoyed me. But anyway, Tomb of Qualipec. Actually, that particular playthrough, like... For all the up and down and up and down and up and down I did in this particular occasion, um, there are times in the past when I have played this and been so confused about those two pillars. Like, really just... I, th I think... I think... Possibly I've done that a few times when I've done Let's Plays of Tomb Raider games in the past where it's been like, you have to move this thing here and put this thing over there and put that thing over there and I get so confused. I, I don't think I'm great with spatial awareness, but but anyway, I did really like that. I think the aesthetics are a hell of a lot better than they are in the original game because, like I said, pink and orange, whose idea was that? Um, so the aesthetics, I think, are a lot better in this one. Um, they've streamlined it down a little bit, so instead of the three rooms, they've only got the two rooms. I do kind of wish that they still had... You know there was the room where it was like, it was almost like a chessboard kind of floor, but not really, but just like sort of checkered like that. And there was the two moving pillars. I mean, I'm so nostalgic about that room just because I got stuck on it for so long because I couldn't see the hole in the wall because of the god-awful interior decoration. But um, 
I do like that. I mean, you could have... I know the pillars moving along the floor is a bit odd, but there's no reason why you couldn't design that in some way to just show some kind of mechanism moving them along. Yeah, I really like that room, but, um, you know, maybe... Maybe they just thought the three rooms would be a bit... Or, or maybe, actually, they like the... Um, the kind of sort of mirror imaging kind of thing of like sort of having the main thing be directly ahead and then having the two doors on either side or the two passageways. It's the same with Palace My well, My Das's Palace as it's called in this one. They do that as well, that kind of sort of streamlined kind of mirror image effect to the room and to the, the design of the level. But anyway, I'll ramble about that more when I get to My Das's Palace. So um Next up, Greece for St. Francis Folly.